Samir, what's the buzz on the ground? Are investors, PE funds really back in the market? Well, they've been back in the market for some time on the commercial real estate side, uh, for sure. Uh, I think what is happening is at this point in time, uh, structured debt is a product that uh, all PE funds are looking at. And developers had quite uh, heavily borrowed at higher interest rates. Uh, PE funds today are getting very attractive valuations on structured debt mm. and they're getting very good security. Mm. So they are happy to replace that high interest debt with a lower interest rate. So if developers had borrowed at 24 to 26%, PE funds are happy to come in and lend at 18 to 20%, give them the money to, so that they can pay back the other uh, uh, debtors uh, and get better security in return. And that's what is happening in the market at this point in time. Pure play equity uh, on residential projects is still not happening as the way it should have happened. And uh, I don't blame the PE investors at this point in time because uh, one uh, situation is very uncertain. Uh, inventories are very high. We don't know now that residential projects, if not launched at the right prices, may not see them getting fully liquidated over the required period of time. Mm. Uh, and developers are stretched there. So we definitely... We, I definitely believe that uh, in times to come, if the valuations are correct uh, on the sale price, then PE funds would definitely come in and take equity positions. Okay, so that's what's happening on the money front in the real estate market. We'll get back to your questions and look at the Mumbai region. We have uh, Priyanshu Javadekar on the line with us. Hi, Priyanshu. What's your question? Hi, uh, actually, uh, I was... Uh just looking for 2 to 2.5 BHK in Dairy because I'm working and living in Dairy and uh, I'm looking to move on for my current uh, residence which is old and uh, I was just looking for under control like any building which I can occupy by to, to be a completion I can wait for that. All right. Uh, so Priyanshu lives and works in Andheri. He wants to move out and wants a property in the next two years. He has a budget of 1.8 crores, Samir, Mumbai. Yeah, so uh, keeping your budget in mind and Andheri is the right destination that you've looked at. Uh, you're also working around that location. So Andheri East is a micro market that will perpetually do well uh, going forward as well because there's a lot of employment generation happening in around that area. Uh, proximity to of Andheri is to BKC and Kurla is uh, very good. The inventory overhang, although is 24 months, uh, the weighted average price is 14,900. So this is a good time to buy from an end use perspective. You will get good deals in the market since markets have been a bit slow. 12.4% is the analyzed return of this market, which is fairly decent. The projects that you can look out for are Proxima residency, uh, Residences in Dudwala by Dudwala Group. This project is available directly with the developer. It's spread across 3.75 acres, divided into two phases. Phase one is uh, under initial stages of construction. The project is lo located 500 meters from Times Square and Wellington Business Park and Balaji Business Park. So good project location from a job uh, employment generation perspective. Blue Fortune by Atul Projects at 13,900. Available with the developer, this is across half an acre with single tower of G plus 13 heights. Story, uh, it, is, it has shops on the ground floor and it still has, uh, being a single tower, still has swimming pool, gymnasium, indoor games, uh, so club house facilities are all there. And it's located 500 meters from the Bombay Scottish School uh, and the Seven Hills Hospital. So social infrastructure is very close by. Asta by Gundecha Builders at 19,200, but this is on carpet area. Uh, available with the developer having two towers of 12 stories each. Walking distance from the Saki Naka metro station uh, and barely one kilometer in Andheri East. Besides, located only one kilometer uh, from the metro station, it is four kilometers from the domestic terminal of Mumbai. And there will be a clubhouse and swimming pool only in this project. All right, Priyanshu, so those were three top recommendations from Andheri East. Let's recap them for you Proxima Residences by Dudwala Group, Blue Fortuna by Atul Projects India Limited, and Asta by Gundecha Builders. Moving on to an email by Sumit Malviya. He says, I'm a 32-year-old banker in Mumbai looking for an investment opportunity in Mumbai real estate with a 5-7 to seven year horizon. Budget is 40 to 50 lakhs. My initial research says Panvel holds the most appreciation potential due to upcoming infrastructure and the airport. Kindly advise, is the choice of Panvel right and which are the trustworthy projects there? Uh, I'm also looking at Marathon uh, Next Zone. Samir, is Panvel the most promising destination? 
Uh, well, we also like Khargar a lot. Uh, Panvel definitely is emerging to be a good destination with the announcement of the international airport coming up, coming up over there and some other social uh, uh, infrastructure initiatives that the government is planning for that area. Uh, having said that, it's still been an investor-driven market and some kind of uh, that has a price effect of the pricing in that area has already happened with the anticipation of the airport coming. So we don't see the prices going rocketing uh, sky high because the inventory over here is also quite high. The inventory over hang is 30 months over here, which is a cause of concern. The weighted average price is 5,000 rupees a square foot and it's shot up quite fast. Over the last one and a half, two years, although it's been slow uh, and the price appreciation trends have now come out to reasonable levels of 11% analyzed uh, as such. Nothing wrong with the Marathon Nexon project, you can go ahead with it, but it's beyond your budget. Uh, it's 2 BHK, will still be 46 lakhs plus, uh, so you'll have to take a call on that. You wanted a 3 BHK, so you'll have to extend your budget. It's a 25 acre township with 19 towers. Home loan is available. Phase 2 named Gold Zone is coming up with 4 towers. Uh, construction of that is not started yet though. But we would recommend you to look at two more other projects. Again, you'll have to up your budget for buying into these projects. But sizes are smaller, so you won't have to extend it that much. India Bulls Green uh, in Panvel trading at 59 to 6100 rupees. Uh, this is a much larger integrated township, about 85 acres. And phase one is in 20 acres and 18 towers uh, are under mid-stage construction. Now, this project is 500 meters from the Somatane railway station and one kilometer from the Mumbai-Pune highway and 8 kilometers from the Panvel Junction and Godrej City by Godrej Properties. This is a property uh, project in Panvel at, with a 150-acre township. It's at pre-launch stage. Uh, Godrej nothing wrong with the developer and is waiting for approvals right now uh, for building plans and CC. And this will come up with a, this project will have a nine hole golf course, which is a big thing and a big clubhouse and malls, hospitals are all around the vicinity also. Uh, okay, so for Panvel, an important growth catalyst is the Navi Mumbai International Airport. And finally, after long delays, there is some headway on this project. Uh, uh, CITCO, the City Industrial Development Corporation, has said that uh, by March of this year, 2015, the technical and financial bidder who will carry out the pre-development work, that process will be completed and officials also claim 90% of the land has been acquired for the project. So this increasing momentum on the progress of this project will improve market prospects of Panvel. So Mid, so that's a yes for Marathon Next Zone Phase 1, giving you two more options in Panvel, India Bulls Greens uh, Phase 1 by India Bulls Real Estate and Godrej City by Godrej Properties.